Hello Libra, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what's going on for you. This is for the end of March. So Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what's going on. All right. Thinking, hermit, hermit mode. Virgo, oh, so you could have someone who has been hiding, not, um, not communicating. Oh, there you are. For some reason I knew you were gonna show up and I don't think this is you, but oops, I pulled two, so I'm gonna take them. Under the deck is the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Coins. Oh, Libra, you guys are working hard, working a lot. Tired, probably. All right, I think I'm going to stick with this deck for now and see. So you may have someone talking that you haven't heard from in a while, or someone has been really thinking about something. That was very profound, wasn't it, with the Hermit thinking, yeah. So Eight of Cups, Queen of Coin, and the High Priestess. So, Three of Cups, dating. This could be a Virgo, specifically. This could be someone at your job. This could be you. Let me keep going here. You have Judgment, Three of Coins working together in the full energy. Six of Coins. So like if you work with somebody or you work together or if you have a new idea, your money's going to grow. And it could be with this earth sign person, possibly. Or again, this might be you. It might, might, maybe it's better to walk away from a job or something that you're being overworked and start your own thing. Because look, you have the two of coins, right? And you go from the three of coins to the six of coins. You've got money coming in. You have so much money coming in that now six of coins to me can be um, shopping. You're going out and you're spending your money. So... Wow. Someone may give you a good idea with the Queen of Coins here. An Ace of Wands. So this may be a money reading for you guys. What is the Ace of Wands? We have the Eight of Swords not seeing something possibly. Six of Swords moving ahead into the unknown. Okay, so you guys are going to get some type of communication, epiphany. Uh, you may need to meditate with the, with the Hermit card. I don't know how you feel about that. It's very hard for me to med meditate. But I have had good ideas and messages come through. So some of you, though, are, you're not blocked to Eight of Swords. You just don't see something. You don't know which path to take. And you will, though, it appears by the end of March. You're going to get this communication or idea. Now, you're going into the unknown with the moon, but that's probably okay. We will clarify that. We'll, we'll come back and clarify that. What is the Knight of Swords? Four of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Okay. This may be a person coming back in specifically, and it may be more work-related, guys. Don't worry. It may not be, you know, an ex. But we have someone who is, again, four swords thinking, looking at the broken cups, and then there's this idea, big idea coming in. It could come in very, it could come in as a flash. So you guys, you guys have good intuition. You guys are getting, you know, your spiritual side, your gifts sharpened. So listen, because something's coming in for you. And it could come in kind of like an idea from the heavens, because that's actually what that's supposed to be, a big cloud hand coming down, handing you something that could be different. It may not be like the other ideas, other things. Um, I'm assuming right now this is work-related. Maybe it is love, but... Because you have the two of cups back here, right? You got the three here, you got the three here. This is something new. This is something being presented to you. And again, this could be someone you know, someone who wants to come back around, someone that you realize it was a really good partner or lover or friend, something. Let's go to you. What is the Queen of Swords? Queen of Swords, Libra. Oh, so that's interesting. So you're getting communication. Now, it could be someone is telling you, I'm lonely, five of coins. When I get it this way, it's kind of like part of the message. Uh, maybe you're feeling this way, but someone's telling you, this is like teamwork. This is like working together with someone. So I don't know if this is love or money or both, but it's like, let's do this together with the Knight of Cups energy. All right. It's kind of like having, I don't want to say having faith. It might be though, but let me see the moon. I don't know, that's just what came into my mind. So I don't know when I said that, having faith in the unknown, in this person. What is the moon universe? What is the moon I just saw the Queen of Coin under this deck also. Six of Swords again moving forward. Three of Wands and the Lovers. Wow. So Knight of Coin is under there. So again, there is an offer coming in 
to you that if you grab it and run with it it looks like it's going to lead to love maybe a partnership wow you guys have a really good reading let me go up here because i feel like some of you are doing a lot of work you're doing it alone you're tired of the work you do obviously nine of wands you're putting in a long a lot of hours okay what is this under the deck eight of coins nine of wands what else do we need to know we have nine of coins yeah star card and the ten of coins holy shit does it get any better i mean money's pouring in you guys so be open to this because i think it's going to come with a person it's going to come very specifically i think in an idea or a person and it's going to lead to love this partnership could lead to love maybe i mean this could be someone coming back again and saying you know i miss you i love you i'm lonely i'm you know let's work this out but it's going to make this relationship very abundant it's a good relationship all right let me see the advice from this deck okay what is the message here Okay, someone is heartbroken. So someone is deeply hurt, sad. Their separation, their break, a breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. My goodness. So I think there's somebody, now this could be you, Libra, but this, this is somebody who is thinking about you. This is somebody who deeply misses you and loves you. Okay, let me go to one more deck. I'm going to pull one romance card just to see what they seem to think about this. Okay. Okay, finances and career so again there's money all around this reading and it seems to be with a person who the two of you combine your you know resources and um, your thoughts you guys can make a lot of money so maybe you worked with this person I don't know let me go to the knight of cups let me just do a little bit more here I probably shouldn't I probably should just stop but I just maybe you guys know who this is maybe you don't and again it could be something out of the blue it, it looks like it's with a person though because i was thinking maybe it's an idea but it looks like it could be an actual person knight of cups please we have the queen of swords you again looking at something differently the hanged man trying to make a decision about your work two of coins eight of coins and eight of wands either moving forward three of cups is next i will take it ace of coin is under the deck so again there's this communication coming in libra that you're going to stop and look at it and try to decide what to do next and it does appear like it's about work or money and but it looks like you're going to move forward eight of wands either to having more fun or dating and you're know, going out with this person you're going to be celebrating you're going to be happy so take that uh, how it resonates celebrating so all right guys i'm going to leave it here i'll talk to you soon and take care